That's not true at all. Why do you lie to people? It makes us sound interesting, okay? Our story is just not interesting. Come on, admit it, Rebecca. Whatever, he, he was telling me about this girl named Becca that he met in India. And he was like, yeah, I'm dating her. And I was like, yeah, you can't do that. She's on the other side of the world. Like, pe people won't believe you. You can't tell people that. Like, it's, it's, it's not, it can't happen. We met while I was on the outreach in New Delhi, India. And over the course of the last five and a half years, we've known each other. No distance, financial hardship, or relational tr troubles ever managed to keep us apart. And I have watched Hunter Davis for the last five years with such honor and grace and beauty and love pursue my daughter. Rebecca. Hello. Can I look at you? I kind of want to look at the rest of you, but I kind of don't want to look at <laughs> I know that Rebecca's testimony says that she was translating and he was filming, but I tell you, he almost forgot his camera once he met her. I'm just telling you, he was befuddled. Oh Can you see my dress? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You look so good. You look so good. Oh my goodness. Rebecca, I'm keenly aware that the medium of language is poorly fit for this task of proclaiming my commitment to you. Its limits are reached long before I reach the vows you deserve. But I promise to spend at least the next hundred years of our marriage living them out, expressing my undying and ferocious love for you. Hunter, almost every time you walk into a room, my heart skips a beat. In you, God has given me something 100 times better than what I even knew to ask for. Lately, so many of my weaknesses, you have been the strongest pillar for me. I don't know what, it's, what it would be like to be without you now. And I've come to a point where I feel like you know me best. I don't know how we got here, but Hunter Davis, I'm letting you in, or letting you in has been one of the most beautiful and rewarding processes. Uh, Becca and Hunter felt that they should have at least around a thousand people that they genuinely think should be here. And you guys were the top 150, so congratulations, top Top round right here. You guys must mean something to them. Yo. <laughs> Inspirational speech. Yagmo. <laughs> no, say it to the camera. Yagmo, you only get married once. It's like an Easter egg hunt in there. <laughs> Bex, literally like the back is just stunning. The back of, me and Anna go, the back of your head is ridiculous. The back of your, <laughs> back of your head is ridiculous. <laughs> The thing I can say about her is when she started to crawl, she always wanted to be in the room where I was. And we have been very close friends ever since, and I just treasure the beauty of our friendship and our relationship. This isn't just a few years of friendship and dating and engagement. This is decades and decades of fine tapestry that has been woven together to make this moment. This is as a result of a God that never, ever gives up on us. So it's my prayer for my marriage that we never get too comfortable. We never get too comfortable with the awe-inspiring splendor of our Creator and His creation. I pray that we never get too comfortable with one another, foolish enough to think that we know everything about the other. And I pray that we run this race fully committed and to the end until we hear the words, well done, my good and faithful servant.